Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I am gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. We have our guest co-hosts from the We Talk Back podcast, AJ and Tam Bam. Grand hey. Rising. Now let's start with Boosie <laughs> Badass. Now, uh, a couple of months ago, Boosie was up here and Charlemagne asked him about uh, if he felt that he had an anger management problem. Boosie, do you ever talk to your therapist about possible <laughs> anger, anger issues, maybe? Just, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I got anger issues. I got anger issues. They, he, he said I have anger issues. Mm-hmm. He said I have anger issues. Did you know where it stems from? Because you, you also saw you said you cursed out a whole store because they asked for your ID. Oh, uh, it stems from my childhood. Okay. Most most trauma does, yeah. It, it, st- mm-hmm. it stems from my childhood. My dad and my mama fighting. But I don't fight women like that. Mm-hmm. I don't beat women ass. Probably because my daddy used to hit my mama. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, yesterday, uh, Boosie checked himself into an anger mm-hmm. management classes. Good Man, I just left anger management, bro. That shit was deep, bro. Like, finding out what made me angry and shit. Like, my expectations, bro. My expectations. I expect so much out of people, bro. Who never showed me loyalty, who never showed me none of that, bro. So I gotta take accountability for that, bro. I'm finna cut a lot of people off, bro. Like, you know, I gotta learn to separate that shit, bro. Like, that shit is deep, bro. Well, you can't expect you from other people. That's number one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but number two, when Boosie was here, Boosie was talking about all the work he was doing on himself. Boosie mm-hmm. was talking about going to therapy and things like that. But, you know, nobody pays attention to that. Y'all want to pay attention to the stuff that y'all think is foolishness that come out of Boosie's mouth. But when he tell you that he in therapy mm-hmm. and he doing work on himself, y'all don't want to hear that. Yeah, well, I'm glad to see Boosie uh, getting some help and working on Absolutely. himself. Absolutely, I'm glad to see any man uh, right. g- going out there and doing the work. Espe- well, for himself. me, especially Boosie, because I really like Boosie. I think Boosie, I know we, we, we follow the ignorant-ish sometimes, but I think Boosie's a good person when it comes to some of the things he be talking about. Now we got to talk about Cardi B. She has uh, dropped the mic. Well, not her, but she has been cleared of the investigation after Las Vegas uh, mic throwing incident. Cardi B won't be facing any charges after she launched the microphone into uh, into an audience when somebody threw a drink on her. So uh, that's going on with Cardi B. And she was assaulted first, initially, essentially, right? Right. But that's yeah. criminal charges. doesn't mean that nothing won't happen civilly, but that's, right. that's criminal. Right, definitely so. sue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, also, Lizzo. It looks like uh, Lizzo hired former uh, Bill Cosby's attorney. For a uh, workplace harassment lawsuit. Why do you always say Bill Cosby's attorney? Like Marty Singer hasn't been mad people. Well, attorney. I was gonna say that too. Uh, he's <laughs> right. also been an attorney for Charlie Sheen, Chris Brown, Johnny Depp, and Jonah Hill. The Kardashians now, mm-hmm. like a bunch of people. Mm-hmm. And yesterday, a video came out of one of the people that were accusing Lizzo. And in this video, the lady was actually gushing all over Lizzo. And this is the actual video. What's up? It's Ariana Davis from season one of Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls. I've been on tour. I've been working with Lizzo for for uh, some months, maybe close to a year now. And it's been so amazing and such a beautiful journey. You know, do what Lizzo's doing. I've, I look up to her so much and I just want to follow in her footsteps and not only be an amazing dancer, but be an amazing singer and storyteller. I love to write music. I love to sing, and I just want to share that with the Queen Lizzo herself. Mm. Now, Marty Singer said yesterday on TMZ, these do not sound like the words of someone who was harassed or discriminated against by someone they described as the Queen. So as you see, this is going, this is going to be a nasty case. This is going to be a nasty case. I don't think it's going to be a nasty case. Mm-mm. I think it's almost like <laughs> when you have sex with somebody and then you, you regret it the next day, possibly. Mm-hmm. So they did a lot of things. While hanging out with Lizzo, with mm-hmm. Lizzo, and then got fired, and now they're upset about the things they may have engaged in, to you know, mm-hmm. stay in her graces, essentially. Mm-hmm. I keep telling y'all the, the problem that Lizzo made is that she turned her employees into friends. Into her free, friends, right. yeah. You, you know what I mean? Careful. You can't go to the strip club with your employees, mm-hmm. and you know, be encouraging your employees to do things that you would be encouraging your friends to do because mm-hmm. when they get upset this happens yeah but it's difficult because if you have a, a, a group of women like that that's i'm sure it's on tour they're with each other all the time they're traveling whether they they're on like a bus they're on, yeah, they're on a plane they become like family so i'm sure when lizzo goes out she wants to take her crew so when she gets some when she goes to a restaurant she takes the crew when she goes to the club it's a big she deal takes, you know what 
Jonathan Majors. <laughs> Listen, no, we're not finished with the little thing. But I would say, but, but but what happens is, you know, when she goes out, she goes to the club. They go to the club. Mm-hmm. She goes to the strip club. They, they're family. You know what I mean? You don't want to you don't want to make people feel like they're not part and of. And the even when you read the story about the, but the, the, it's called the banana bar, right? Where they actually do this in the bar, where mm-hmm. they, the women have bananas and they vaginas and people. Mm-hmm. Eat the the banana out, mm-hmm. like like when you just see it in a headline, it looks crazy until you realize this is what they actually do. Right. Correct at this venue. Correct. Yeah. Where's the lemon pepper bar? Lord Where have mercy. <laughs> Lord have mercy. That, that's we about to talk about that next hour. Okay. <laughs> the lemon pepper came out another way. Right? <laughs> well, you know what's interesting about the Lizzo case too? Is I see people calling BS on the young ladies. And I'm fine with that. I just want people to have consistency because we should be able to say when we think something is BS without folks attacking us for it. Because a lot of these cases are BS and, and mm-hmm. just shakedowns. But it's interesting that people have no problems coming out and saying that about this case in particular. And I hope people start to realize that there is no consistency with any of these cases. No, right. it's, it's just about who people like and don't like. Like, if you like Lizzo, you call BS. If you don't like Lizzo, you get online and make jokes yeah. and say things like, our belly. You know what I'm saying? When the reality is, we should just be consistent with all these cases. But you know? also people got to read, right? Because people are just reading headlines. They don't actually read the affidavits. They don't actually read right. what people are saying. They're mm-hmm. reading the headlines that usually nine times out of ten, uh, whoever's putting it out is they're putting it out for a reason. They're but, putting it out to spin it and right. make it look a certain exactly. way. But if they like get the person, the if they like the person, they don't even care about the headline. That's true. They, no matter what the headline says, they will defend said person. But if they don't like the person, regardless of what the headline says, they'll go against said person. So either mind your business or if you think something is a lie, if you think something is nonsense and foolishness, you should be able to say that without being attacked. That's right. And lastly, Jonathan Majors, it seems like his assault trial uh, has his case has been delayed until September. Jonathan is a perfect example. Mm-hmm. That story came out about Jonathan Majors. They started snatching stuff away from Jonathan Majors. People started calling Jonathan yeah. all types of things. Exactly. You know what I mean? And I mean, uh, some of that is happening in Lizzo, but we haven't seen her lose anything yet. Mm-hmm. Jonathan, they took them army commercials off so fast. Mm-hmm. Real fast. New at noon, a September 6th trial date is set for the domestic violence trial of actor Jonathan Majors in Manhattan. Majors is accused of pulling his girlfriend's finger, twisting her arm, and striking and cutting her ear back in March. Prosecutors say he also pushed her into a vehicle, causing her to fall backwards. In a statement, Majors' attorney says that her client is, quote, the real victim in this shameful ordeal. She says that the 33-year-old's life, career, and reputation have been torn apart. All I'm saying is nobody is consistent. Uh, corporate America is not consistent. No. Advertisers is not consistent. Social media is not consistent. Nobody's consistent. Because that man, Jonathan Major, should be innocent until proven guilty. Absolutely. Right. Nothing, Everybody should. Nothing should have been taken away from Absolutely. him. Nobody should have distanced themselves from him. Like PR agency, management, mm-hmm. army snatch commercials. Movies, yeah, all that. Yeah, it's weird. Come on. Yeah, and it sounds like he was just trying to get his cell phone back from her. Right? I don't know Twisting what, her fingers. I, I, don't, I don't know what I happened. I don't know what it was, but none of us do. Same thing with the Lizzo situation, but the same grace I see y'all giving Lizzo, why y'all ain't getting that man? Right. That's right. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. Now, when we come back, we got front page news with Teslin Figaro, and it's Friday, so you know what that means. It's freaky, freaky, freaky Friday. Nobody wants to play with me? All you right. got too excited. You left us all behind. <laughs> okay. Start, you want to slow it down? Start over. Nah. It's slow Friday, it so you know what that means. It's freaky, 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 freaky Friday. Friday. And we're going to get to that in a little bit, and uh, the question is, when you were given analingus, is that the? Analingus. 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 Analytics. An- analingus. Analingus. When you were eating the groceries, do you know anybody that got sick from eating the groceries? I don't think y'all pronounced that right. Analingus? I, I, I had Google I say him. it for us. Analingus. You weren't in here. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, analingus. I know him. He's from the Bronx. He's Dominican. <laughs> <laughs> My I, know boy. Whole, I know the Ain't whole no language family. My boy. Well, we're going to do that next, and <laughs> let's get into another new joint. This is Usher featuring Summer Walker, 21 Savage. Front page news is next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.